For this tutorial, you will need your selected yarn. I'm using Stylecraft Special DK. You will need your crochet hook. If you want to check your yarn label to see what size your yarn recommends, but I'm using a five millimeter today. You will need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. I shall leave a link in the description box of where you can find all of these things. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to go through a few things. This is a sample piece that I have done. Obviously, if you've got a blanket, it would be much bigger, but just for the purpose of me demonstrating this to you, just imagine this is much bigger. So whenever I do a border, I would always do a round of double crochet, which is single crochet in the US. And the reason I do that is because I think it creates a much neater um, edge. What I have done in the corners where I would have done a chain three, I've actually done five stitches. So two go along the edges and then one straight in the middle. Now this particular pattern is going to work in multiples of seven. So you want to get your stitches as close to a multiple of seven as possible. Now for me, in this instance, apart from the very corners, I have got a multiple of seven plus an additional two. So what I'm going to do is count the two here. So ignore the corners, count the two back, and then this is where my multiple of seven would work. So as I've done this round of double crochet, I've tied it off so that I can start my stitches in that space just here and it just calculates a, a bit better for when you're working in the corners. So I'm not working in the very corner stitch, I'm missing one stitch and I'm going into this one just here. So as I say, that might be a calculation that you have to sit and work out how it might work best for you, but hopefully if you keep watching, you'll see how the corner works and you can decide what's best for you at that point. So I have just attached my yarn into the space where I want to start. I'm going to grab the yarn and pull it through and I'm going to chain one and that's going to class as our first stitch. We're then going to skip two spaces, so one, two, and in the third space along we're going to do three treble crochets, so that's double crochet in the US. So that's yarn over, insert into that third stitch along, Grab the yarn, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two, so that's one. We'll do that again, two, and three. And at this point we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to slip stitch into that first chain. So you insert your hook, I like to grab both of the um, parts of the chain, grab the yarn and pull through. And that makes your little knobbly bit at the top. We're then going to do another three treble crochets into that same space. So one, two, and three. And then what we want to do here is anchor down that section. So we're going to skip two stitches again, one, two, and then do a double crochet into that third stitch along. So that will be a single crochet in the US. So that is pretty much your pattern repeat. So I'll show you that again. We're going to skip two and then do three trebles into that third space along. One, two, and three, you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch into that very first chain that you created. So grab the yarn and pull through, and then you're going to do three treble crochets into that very same space again. One, two, and three, skip two chains, and then do a double crochet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another one of those. So I'm just going to get you to pause the video for a moment, and then I'm gonna take you across to the corner and show you how to adapt 
for your corners. Okay, so I've just done the corner. Don't worry, I'm gonna undo this and show you what I did, but I just wanted to talk you through. Now, whenever you're doing a border and a corner, you're always going to have to adapt to whatever work um, that you're doing. So me just giving you one technique might not work on your piece of work. So you have to kind of be adaptable. Now, what I found, even though I started on the third one in technically, I should have finished a few more over but you know that's fine that's part of handmade and I've adapted it um, as suits here so I'm just going to unfold this unravel this in a minute but what you can see is you want to almost get this peak part um, into the corner as much as you can so I'm going to unravel this and then show you what I did so my last double crochet finished here and I could have just missed two and then done my um, my pico, my triangle pico stitches in this very corner here. But what that might have done is made the corner turn up a little bit. So I'll show you what I chose to do instead and this worked for me. But again, you're going to have a play around and see what works best for you. So instead of skipping two and doing everything in this corner, what I'm actually going to do is skip one and then do one treble into the next stitch and then the other two trebles into the corner stitch and then that kind of stops it from puckering too much in the corners and, and curling up in the corners. So then I would do the chain three and slip stitch and then I would repeat the same thing around the corner. So I'm just going to do two trebles into this corner space. One and two. And then just one treble into the next space. Skip one and then do a double crochet. And that now lays nice and flat and then we have the pico part right in the very corner. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to continue with this same pattern and I'll meet you again in this corner and talk you through how I would adapt it for this particular corner because right now I don't know where my stitches are going to land. So as I've worked along this corner I have landed a little bit closer to the edge this time. So instead of having two spaces before I get to the corner, I only have one space. So what I'm gonna to choose to do this time is do the same as what I've done before. So with the three stitches, the chain three, and then the three stitches all in the corner and only miss one stitch because, because they're going straight into the corner, it's not gonna pull on the work. So that's what I'm choosing to do here. So I'm only skipping one stitch this time. I'm doing the three trebles, the chain three, the slip stitch, and then the three trebles again. One, two, and three, skipping one as we have just done and then double crochet and you can see because we're not stretching into the corner that doesn't cause it to curl in that case. So hopefully now that I've just talked you through the way that I would tackle the corners you might be a little bit better equipped to deal with how those how you tackle the corners in your own work and you're just pretty much going to repeat that all the way around so you would just go straight back into the pattern along this side so you're going to skip two stitches one two and then start your three trebles into that third stitch I'm going to pause the video, work my way all the way around and meet you back to show you how to finish off. So I've now worked my way all the way around this square. I found that the opposite corners were the same when it came to working the stitches and now I have come to the very beginning where I am going to slip stitch into the first stitch, 
just like so. I'm going to chain one, grab my scissors, snip off the yarn and then pull that thread out, pull that nice and tight and then all that would be left to do is to sew in your ends into the work. So that is your triangle pico edge. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.